Right, so Mark Gurman has dropped a massive report on everything AirPods. We have information about AirPods 3 and their release, some information about the features that we can expect with AirPods Pro 2, and some new colors with AirPods Max. Right, so let's delve into AirPods 3, and it's fair to say we know quite a lot about these. In fact, we have images of the actual product, we know the specs, we know what to expect. The only thing up in the air now is the release date. And obviously we did have a few rumors claiming the launch would be as soon as this month, but now May is pretty much over and we have no new AirPods, so clearly they've been pushed back. And well, that's pretty much what Mark Gurman says. So much like Minchi Kuo and Digitimes told us a few weeks ago, AirPods 3 should be releasing around Q3 of this year. So expect a release around September in my opinion, because it would make a ton of sense to release AirPods 3 alongside the new iPhones. However, I also wanna say there is an equal chance AirPods 3 aren't covered at the iPhone event because you might know of this rule that Apple has with AirPods releases and that is pretty much apart from the OG AirPods, Apple's been releasing every new major AirPods release via a press release. In fact, major ones like the AirPods Pro and AirPods Max, which could have easily been covered at an event, were press releases. So yeah, I definitely think AirPods 3 could be unveiled via press release either the week before or the week after the iPhone event. Now, in case you're wondering about the features of AirPods 3, basically expect a baby between AirPods Pro and AirPods 2. So the shorter stem, the vents, the slightly smaller case, those elements are coming from AirPods Pro, but of course you won't have the ear tips, it'll still have a universal fit, and so that means you have no ANC2. But of course, the upside to that is that it will be cheaper, so expect a price of $150, which includes wireless charging, so yes, this should be cheaper than AirPods 2, but should give you the new design, wireless charging, and spatial audio. I think those are pretty massive improvements and I'm certainly looking forward to buying these. But obviously I know some of you need the pros to flex and Mark Gurman has provided some information about those too. Right, so the first major thing to note is that AirPods Pro 2 has unfortunately been pushed back. So obviously the initial report from Mark Gurman said we can expect these later this year, but it seems Apple's had some development issues and so yeah, they've been pushed back till 2022. Now as for the upgrades, Mark Gurman in his previous report said the AirPods Pro 2 could have a new stemless design, much like the Galaxy Buds and the Pixel Buds, for better sound and ANC. Now I have voiced my opinions on this, but let me give you guys my thoughts again. I don't like this. I'm against a stemless design with AirPods Pro 2 because the stems are what makes AirPods AirPods. If you see someone with white earbuds and a stem, you know those are AirPods immediately. And Apple's all about having recognizable designs because as we saw with the iMac, they kept around the chin for a reason because the chin is synonymous with the iMac. And so much like that, the stem is synonymous with AirPods. Not to mention that the stem actually has a function with AirPods Pro because you control your music via the force touch sensors on AirPods Pro on the stem. And I much prefer this to the double tap we have on AirPods and other earbuds. And so if Apple goes for a stemless design, they'll be blending in with the competition and that is very un-Apple-like. And so yeah, I don't think that's happening in my opinion. In fact, I have a pretty strong feeling that maybe the delay could be because Apple is scrapping the stemless design and they're going back to the drawing board. I mean, Mark Gurman mentions nothing about the stemless design in this latest report. And I remember reading in that initial report that Apple was struggling to fit all the tech needed for AirPods in a smaller earbud. And so yes, I have a very good feeling that Apple has scrapped the stemless design and the stem is here to stay with AirPods Pro 2. Now as for the new tidbits that German mentions in this report, he says AirPods Pro 2 will include motion sensors with a focus on fitness tracking. Now guys, I can't lie, this does not make a ton of sense to me because we have the Apple Watch for fitness tracking on the go. The Apple Watch can measure workouts and can measure how far you run, your heart rate, 
all the essential data you need, and so why pack all that information into AirPods? Like, wouldn't that ruin the battery life of AirPods too? Because I'm assuming tracking all this information is going to be pretty strenuous, and with the already pretty small batteries we have with AirPods, it doesn't seem like a pretty good idea in my opinion. But let me know in the comments below, would you use fitness tracking with AirPods. Now that's about it for AirPods Pro 2 features. Now personally, I'm hoping to see AirTags integration because imagine having the U1 tech with your AirPods case because that would be honestly a lifesaver because I lose my AirPods case nearly every day. And so if I could have the precise location tracker features that AirTag has built into the AirPods case, that would be amazing. So yeah, I'm hoping AirPods Pro 2 at least has this feature. Oh, and also lossless audio supports with AirPods Pro 2 would be pretty awesome. I know there are some restrictions with Bluetooth codecs. I'm not really sure, but I have heard that maybe through Wi-Fi and AirPlay, this could be possible. So yeah, it would be nice to see that feature with AirPods Pro 2. Anyways, moving on to AirPods Max, German says, Apple right now has no plans to make a second generation AirPods Max. And that does make sense because AirPods Max haven't been doing that well. In fact, Apple might only ship 1 million units of AirPods Max. And yes, I know that sounds a lot, but to a company like Apple, that's barely anything because AirPods sales as a whole in 2020 was around 120 million. So yeah, 1 million is barely anything. And so much like the HomePod, I think AirPods Max might also be killed off. And in many ways, the HomePod and AirPods Max are very, very similar in that they are very, very expensive for what they offer and the compromises they have. Now I'm still keeping my fingers crossed for an AirPods Max Sport because if Apple could give us a cheaper plastic version of AirPods Max with all the same tech, I feel like that might do better, but it is a little worrying that we haven't heard about AirPods Max Sport and their development in quite a while. But not to worry guys, because Apple's gonna give us new colors with AirPods Max instead. So yeah, expect maybe a purple or maybe a fancy orange. We'll have to wait and see, but yeah, expect some pretty nice colors in the near future. But let me know in the comments below, are you thinking of buying any of these new audio products? Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. For the latest Apple news and rumors, check out the video in the icon above about details on the new Thunderbolt display. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.